Hey all, my name is Kurt and welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. As you can see on the bar top tonight, we have all of these Old Forester products. We're going to do another distillery review just like we did with the Four Roses and we're going to continue this program. What we did that was a little bit special though is we let our patrons decide what distillery they wanted to see next and they all voted. Some was, you know, a little different, but the majority and I would say Trenton, the, 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 big, the big part of the majority was Old Forester. So I'm excited about it. We got a ton of Old Forester up here that Trenton and I are gonna taste. We're, I've got them lined up in order of pricing and we're gonna see what we like, what we may not like, what we might think is definitely worth the money and some we might think is maybe not worth the money. We'll see, but let's get into it. Let's take no further time. I've just got a couple of quick mentions because I, I have to do it with Old Forester. I just want to let you know, Old Forester Rye, for about 20 bucks, we're not going to taste it tonight, but it's fabulous. For about 20 bucks, fabulous rye whiskey. One more I want to mention to you. If you ever see these Old Forester single barrel barrel proofs that are store picks, some of these are fabulous. I picked this up at one of my local stores uh, just, what, Trent, last week or so? Very recently. This is absolutely dynamite. Really, really good stuff. We're not going to taste this either because, of course, most of you, if not the majority of you, are not going to be able to get this bottle. But if you see these, do a little research, figure it out, but some of these are just ridiculously good. All right. Trenton, let's get into it. You ready? We're going to start with this Old Forester 86. We're going to give this a quick taste. What's the price on this bad boy? <sighs> Pretty good. <laughs> 20 bucks, Trenton. Of course, it's 86 proof. It's $20. And we had, we, you know, Trenton, you remember, we highlighted this in our Beginner's Bourbon Show. I mean, honestly, you got a little bit of oak, a little bit of nutmeg maybe in there. You got some really nice, really nice tasting notes in there for 20 bucks. Especially for a lower proof. Correct. For the 86 proof, you know, that's my thoughts. I don't know if you have anything further to add to that. But I think this is an outstanding beginner's bourbon. Now, for me personally, Trenton can speak for himself. For my money, I would prefer to step up just a little bit to this Old Forester 100. This one here is, of course, 100 proof, and this is around 22 bucks. Let's give it a shot, Trent. Mm. Brother, that's good, man. I, I don't know about you, but wow. I can really taste the difference between the two. Can you? Yeah. I get, I get a lot more... Um, a little bit of a maple syrup in there. I always get a little bit of a pecan note in there too. Yeah. I always do, and I love that, about that 100. Again, the 86 proof, an excellent bargain, a good bourbon, more of a beginner style bourbon. For my money, for me, for my personal taste, I'd rather bump it up to that Old Forester 100. Let's keep her going, Trenton. We've got the uh, Old Forester 1870. Remember we highlighted this one too and we had a little bit mixed reviews on this one here. Some people in the comments. Some people were like, I'm surprised you picked that one, but boy, I really like that one in that particular video. So let's see what we have on this one here. This one here costs about 40 bucks and it comes in 90 proof. Careful. <laughs> I'm gonna let you start on that one, buddy. I might be a little biased because I love old Forrester products, but mm -hmm. for a $40, more of like an entry proof kind of entry level mm -hmm. beginner bourbon, I mean, yeah. it's hard to beat that. Yeah, I mean, now that I, I will tell you this, I, I usually, on this 1870, I pick up a beautiful, like a like a pear note, and I get some caramel, of course, with some really nice oak. That's what I get out of this 1870. And I get a nice homey, I said that in the other video, but I just get a real nice homey feel with it. Something you can sit down with a recliner with and just relax. But I will tell you this, in tasting side by side, like we're doing, I don't know, I really like the notes here. 
I mean, so I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know what you think, but boy, this 100. I do like the 100 more than the original batch, and it's half the price. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I, I and, 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 and tasting side by side, I might have to agree with you on that one. So I like it. You know, for those of you out there, this one might be the better bargain, might be the better deal. So let's move it on. Let's keep it going. 1897 bottle and bond. Of course, this is 100 proof, and it comes in right around 44 bucks. So Michelle and I went to the old Forester Distillery a couple months ago, mm -hmm. and we did the the flight afterwards as a part of our tour, and we liked this one mm -hmm. the most actually mm -hmm. at the time, and that was our tour guides. And I am. also. I haven't spent much time with this one, but boy, I really like that sip right there. That was really, really good. I'm definitely getting a little bit of a, like a red apple in the front of that sucker. Um, a little red apple and maybe a little vanilla. There's some sweet stuff going on there. I like it, but I like that crispness up front with that yeah. with that apple. No, what do you got? I kind of just echo everything you just said. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, I, I like it. Honestly. Uh, you know, I do. I do like this 1870. I like it. I really do. I have to say. However, you know, you line them up. You know, you line them up side by side. I'm going to have to give you the truth. I, I would much prefer if it was me personally. This hunter proof is great for the money, and I, I for 44 bucks compared to 40, this bottle, of, that bottle of Bond, is well worth the four dollars. Yeah, right? in my opinion, that would take. If I had these two to pick, and only these two, I'd pick this one. So let's keep it moving. We're moving on down to the Statesman. This is a little bit new, Trent, so I'm not a whole lot, a whole lot about it. It's 95 proof, and it's 50 bucks. I haven't spent so, much time with this either. I know you haven't, so we'll see what we got here. I heard that this came out and was released based on some kind of movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true or not, but... What the length of this video is going to be... I didn't do a lot of research in each individual bottle, so you're probably true. It's probably true. This is a core release, though. This is a one of their core releases. All right, bud. I'm gonna start with you. I don't know. There's something about it. I think it's my least favorite so far. It's, it it leans pretty bitter there towards the end, and it, that's. I mean, it, it it's got a nice long-lasting finish, mm -hmm. but it's a, like a, a pretty bitter finish. All right. Here's what I think. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say you're 100% right. This is by far my least favorite up to this point. I do get a little vanilla cream right at the beginning, but then it immediately goes into those harsher notes, some harsher barrel notes there and stuff too going on there to me personally. And at that price point, 50 bucks, but there's a lot of bourbons I could pick for 50 bucks that's gonna be better than that Statesman. Yep. I don't know, that's just me. I haven't spent a lot of time with this, but boy, doesn't seem too good to me, right off the bat. I mean, if somebody poured it to me, I'd drink it. It's not horrible. It's just, it just, do, it doesn't stand up to what we've had so far. I'd rather have the 1870 over the Statesman by far. Let's keep moving. 1910. So the 1910 Trenton is about 53 bucks, 93 proof. And we're getting into the big dogs now. These last two have quite the reputation in the. Mm -hmm. In the community there. I mean, come on, man. That's so good. I will tell you, Trenton, I, I actually went to a uh, trail, our local liquor store, and the prices that I am giving you right here at the moment are current as of yesterday. Yesterday, I checked all the prices. So I know, I know prices vary. It's going to vary in your area. But these are our prices for every one of these bottles as of yesterday. So, you know, I think this is really good. The proof, could it be a little bit more? Could it be bumped up some? Sure. I think this really qualifies as, you know, somewhat of a beginner thing, too, because that 93 proof just isn't that, you know, it's not that astounding. And I get some really great notes in there. I got some vanilla and some burnt sugar. You know, I got, I got some really nice stuff in there. If you ask me, what do you think? Good? Yeah, I, I like, I like it. it. I've, I've never been disappointed with 50 it. bucks, yeah. 53 bucks. That's oh, a yeah. that's a no-brainer. Last but not least, come on, man. You know, this is the winner. This was the winner, right? Yep. Of our uh, bourbon madness. So hey, let's let's give it a taste. The 1920. Oh, 
I can't wait. I gotta get a shot real quick. Mmm. Wow. Now this 1920 trend is 115 proof, and it's the same price. It's fifty-three dollars. That trail yesterday, same exact price. And this thing just knocks it out of the park. I mean, let's guys listen. This one here for fifty some bucks. This is a killer bourbon for fifty some bucks. Beautiful barrel notes in there. Some beautiful caramel notes, baking spices. It's got it all. It's got the proof. The proof point. And to me, there are some one hundred and fifteen proof bourbons that I drink, Trenton, that are like that. That bit me. You know, it's a little hot. This one, really nice, really smooth. It's got it all, $53. You just cannot beat that, in my opinion. All right, Trenton, one last question for you. How would you line up your best to last? Your best to last. I got a good idea what I would do, but how would you do it? I'd go 1920, uh, 19, Can't beat or 1897. And oh, I'd, wow. I'd probably go with the uh, Old Forester 100 wow. uh, and, and 1910. Wow, would be my my four. Awesome, good job. For me, if you're gonna if you if I'm gonna put it in my my favorites to my least favorite, I'm gonna definitely start off with my favorite with the 1920. After that, Trenton, for me, I am gonna go with the 1910. Then I'm gonna follow it up with the 1897. This surprised me today. This is really really good. Then I'm gonna go to the uh, 100 proof to the 1870. To the 86 proof, I would prefer the 86 proof over the Statesman. That is my least favorite, and to me, it just wasn't that good. Hey, that's all we got for you today, man. Well, I have so much fun doing these distillery reviews. Trust me when I tell you, we'll be doing more of them. We're coming out soon. We'll keep going with them. I had a great time. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate all of you, each and every one of you. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time right down here with me in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.